I know it's her pace of own, so I think this will be the last one. But um, in the schuss of an extraordinary Baal Bitachon, an extraordinary human being, an extraordinary Tamachacham, an extraordinarily humble person, and an extraordinary student of the Arachayim HaKodesh, whose fourth yard site is tonight, Avraham Yisrael Menachem Ben Yishayel Alevi, and the father of the extraordinary Mrs. Landa. The, so we recall, this is also something we mentioned in the Haggadah of HaShem Yanu also, that the more the Egyptians would oppress them, the more the Jews would increase. So the Arachim says there's a beautiful explanation by the Zohar in the second volume, page 95, commenting on the Pasuk in Koheles Perches, when Shlomo says there's a time when one man rules over another to his detriment. So the Zohar explains that when one has to endure prosecute, persecution and troubles, the good, which may have been mixed up with the evil inside of him, is distilled from the evil, joining other areas which are totally good. By the same token, the evil of that mixture joins other areas of pure evil. These details are hinted at when Shlomo says, la ra lo. Similarly, the Torah is telling us it's a, a similar concept here. The more persecution Klai Yisrael suffered, the more the good was released from what had only been at that point a mixture of good and evil. With the release of the good, meaning the refinement of their good qualities, so they merited having many more children and good children. That's why the Torah says, Cain Yifrotz. And what do we know Yifrotz is? Ufar, as Hashem says to Yaakov Avinu, Ufar Ratzla will burst forth. Alternatively, the word may mean it achieved a break forth, a separation from an environment in which, as like Peretz, the son of Yehuda, who breaks through and pushes the other twin out, Peretz, so Ben Parzi, the, of whom we make mention in Kabbalah Shab, in Chadodi, Peretz is to break out, meaning the separation from the environment in which good is forced to mix with evil. There's this sense of Pirza, Cain Yifrotz. So therefore, there's an Indian and an idea, a special a special time to daven that when we feel we're living in an environment in which good and evil, positive and negative energies are so confused and convoluted, it, it's almost impossible to be clear in one's thinking and approach to the world. When we get to this Kenya Bev Kenya Froats, that we should be able to take all the troubles of this past year and say that they were a process of refining to separate the good in us from the not so good and to you fronts to break through any barriers that were holding us back from fulfilling our complete potential.